When we're working with the script recording process, we're going to see this script or this application panel that's going to pop up. So this is the uh, application startup screen that we're going to be seeing. So once we've gone through the process of selecting a particular application, beginning the process of the recording, we can see here we're going to start the application and then we're going to, going to pause it and then we're going to add in verification points or, or we're going to create a data-driven uh, script test. We're all going to do that through this particular script uh, initiation panel. So where this panel is going to be coming from is when I'm cranking up the application uh, script process. So I'm going to go through the Start Application option, the Start Application button, and the Start Application dialog is going to appear. From the Start Application dialog, I'm simply going to select which particular application I want to be able to utilize. Now remember, we've already set up all of our applications before we begin the script recording process. So every application that has been defined, that we have created all of the uh, properties for, will be listed here. So if it is a Java application, for example, that I've selected, so you're going to see the Java application name uh, is going to be listed there. If it's an HTML application, you'll see the dash HTML next to the application name. So depending on what particular kind of application component it happens to be, it's going to be noted, denoted in the application list as a particular type. So if it's an executable particular piece or a batch file or some type of an EXE or a DLL, we'll just have the application name and it'll simply say it's executable or an executable variety. So I simply want to choose that particular application uh, the dialog box is going to be initiated and then the application is going to open up and then I can begin my process of moving through the application. So at this point, the dialog boxes for Rational Functional Tester are simply going to be minimized and what we're going to be working with now is simply going to be the application. So as I work my way through the application, all the keystrokes, all the mouse clicks are going to be recorded of course and they're going to be placed inside the test main area of the rational script.